Alright, so Cancer, let's see what's going to come up for you. Now, keep in mind this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. We also have tarot classes, money spells, love spells, protection spells, and so on, which will also be in the description down below. And if you like to become a member, feel free to do so. So Cancer, we're going to have a look at your current situation and then some messages and advice for you. So, what is currently going on inside of Cancer? You're about to receive some unexpected news. It's like it comes in very swiftly, very fast, and it's like very sudden. Okay. Splitting the deck, you have a page of swords and the tower. Now the tower can also be Scorpio energy, but either way. Let's see. So, Cancer, you have a lot of people here in your energy, and you have a lot of things going on with you. So we have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Three of Pentacles. I'm trying to make it so you can see the card better instead of it just all reflecting. You have the Lovers. Lovers, which is Gemini energy. We have the star, which is Aquarius. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. Which is Earth energy. King of Wands, which is fire. With the Death card, which is Scorpio. Okay, so you got a lot of people here in your energy. What I feel like is you're going to receive a lot of people coming your way unexpectedly, Cancer. Okay, as friends. Can be as love too, because we do have that here. I feel like there's a lot of healing going on in your life as well. You healing, you healing other people. See so your money increasing. I see your life becoming more stable, Cancer. And this all happens very sudden, all very unexpectedly. This is a big, major transformation happening in your life. The death card, okay? A lot of big, positive changes. A lot of healing, a lot of stability. Alright? So let's see some messages and advice for you, Cancer. Number 13, Solar Plexus Chakra. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. So, Cancer, what you can do here, this is talking about Solar Plexus Chakra, okay? Look at that chakra, listen to meditation music for that chakra so that it helps um, stimulate that, heal that part of you as well. We have the Throat Chakra, number 20. I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. Now we're talking about the Throat Chakra, Cancer. Number 23, with the present. I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present. It's telling you to live in the present. Okay? There's also need to express yourself here more. We have Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Okay, so Cancer, you're releasing things that were once, like you had you in a, a contract, right? Things from your past lives. Four of Swords Death card, you're releasing that. Alright, and you're moving more towards the star energy. You have the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Something that you were once clinging on to very tightly, very dear to you. That's why that tower moment happened. Okay, clearing the way of this. You have yes, just say yes. So just say yes to this clearing, this change. Okay? Number 
number four with Anna Pagusis. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at that card, Cancer. Do not give up, but allow your heart to disengage from your struggles. Give yourself much needed rest. You are in a phase of recovery. If you have been off your path, you are you're going to come come back strong. You will regain your spark of passion, inspiration, and devotion. A certain order of events needs to take place for your soul path to come to fruition. Commit yourself to your sacred journey, trusting that the right thing will happen at the right time. So yeah, Cancer, this is you. You know you are. If you've been off your path, you're heading back towards your right path here, and I feel like there's a lot of things that were blocking you from that path that are being cleared out of your life so you can get back on the right track here, Cancer, okay? That's why there's there's things that are, like, leaving your life, okay? Whether that be people, thoughts, places, whatever that is, that's why there's this big change, okay? And you're going to need to rest because it, this is a major transformation happening in your life. Number 44, which is an important number, Cancer. Seventh ray of ritual, order, and ceremony. So let's have a look more at that card. Let's read about it. When the gift of the seventh ray enters your life, something new is being formed, something that will benefit your world. There may be an increased interest in magic, ceremony, and ritual for healing purposes, resonating with high-frequency violet light and the Archangel Zadkiel. The seventh ray also helps transmit energy from lower, lower to higher frequency. It is a spiritual cleansing agent that allows the truth of spiritual freedom, empowerment, and choice to be seen and felt, restoring hope and joy to the heart. Look at this. Cancer, you know, I feel like you're having more interest in your spiritual side here. You're having more interest towards a spiritual path. That is what's being formed for you, okay? That's so you can heal people. Maybe there's an interest in magic as well. We're moving towards this higher frequency, okay? So that's why it's all happening. That's why there's these big changes happening in Cancer. And there's nothing to really be, like, allow these changes to occur, okay? That's going to bring, like, all these positive, like, energy. That's what's needed for you. That is the path that is right for you on your life. Right? So, Cancer, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.